Hello students, I am your 15 minute teacher. I will be teaching you mathematics for 15 minutes. Are you ready? The next mathematics lesson that I will be explaining to you for 15 minutes is division of rational algebraic expression. But first, let us have a quick review about division of fractions. For an instance, we have 2 fifth or 2 over 5 divided by 4 sixths or 4 over 6. For this example, we will be following a different process on how to divide fractions. Step 1. We need to find the reciprocal of the divisor. What is a reciprocal? Reciprocal of a number is 1 over that number. In short, you will just interchange the number in the numerator to the denominator. For example, the reciprocal of 4 is 1 over 4. The reciprocal of 2 thirds is 1 over 2 thirds, or if we simplify them, that is 3 over 2. Now let us go back to the example. The reciprocal of the divisor, which is 4 over 6, is 6 over 4. Then, we will proceed to multiplication. Next we need to factor out both numerator and denominator. In this case the factors of 2, the numerator, is 1 times 2. And the factors of 5, in the denominator, is 1 times 5. And for the fraction 6 over 4, we have for the factors of 6, that is 2 times 3. And for the factors of 4, we have 2 times 2. Next, divide the common factors that are present in both numerator and denominator. So we have 1, 2, and another 2. We can cancel them out. Or simply we just divide them. Next, multiply the remaining factors. In the numerator, the remaining number is 3. And for the denominator, we have 5. So the quotient of 2 over 5, divided by 4 over 6, is equal to 3 fifths, or 3 over 5. Let us try more examples. 1 fourth or 1 over 4, divided by 8 over 6. By following the steps, we need to find the reciprocal of the divisor. Our divisor is 8 over 6. And its reciprocal is 6 over 8. Then we will proceed to multiplication. We have the factors of the numerator. Since the numerator is 1, we will just write it 1. And the for the denominator 4, we have 2 times 2. Times, for the numerator 6, we have 2 times 3. And for the denominator 8, we have 2 times 2 times 2. Next divide the common factors that are present in both numerator and denominator. In this case, we have 2. Last step. Multiply the remaining factors, so we have 1 times 3, that is equal to 3. And for the denominator, 2 times 2, times 2, times 2 that would equal to 16. Therefore, if you will divide 1 fourth divided by 8 over 6, that would be equal to 3 over 16. Last example, we have 2 thirds divided by 8 over 9. By following the steps, we need to find the reciprocal of the divisor. Our divisor is 8 over 9, so its reciprocal is 9 over 8. Then we will proceed to multiplication. We need to factor out both numerator and denominator. The factors of the numerator 2. That is 1 times 2. And the for the denominator 3, we have 1 times 3. Times. For the numerator 9, we have 3 times 3. 
And for the denominator 8, we have 2 times 2 times 2. Next, divide the common factors that are present in both numerator and denominator. In this case, we have 1, 2, and 3. Last step, multiply the remaining factors, so we have 3 in the numerator, and for the denominator. 2 times 2, that would equal to 4. Therefore, if you will divide, 2 thirds divided by 8 over 9, that would be equal to 3 over 4. I think you are ready now. In dividing rational algebraic expression, but first, we need to know first the steps. First, find the reciprocal of the divisor. Second, proceed to the multiplication. And the steps for multiplication are, first, factor out both numerator and the denominator. Second, divide the common factors that are present in both numerator and denominator. And lastly, multiply the remaining factors. Now, let us take this as an example. xy squared over 4x squared y divided by 3xy cubed z over 2x cubed y. First step, we need to find the reciprocal of the divisor. Our divisor is 3xy cubed z over 2x cubed y. So its reciprocal is 2x cubed y over 3xy cubed z. Step 2. Proceed to the multiplication. Next. Factor out both numerator and the denominator. We will do first the expression xy squared over 4x squared y. For our numerator xy squared, its factored form is x times y times y. And for the denominator 4x squared y, its factored form is 2 times 2 times x times x times y. Now, let us factor out the second expression. 2x cubed y over 3xy cubed z. For the numerator 2x cubed y, its factored form is 2 times x times x times x times y. And for the denominator 3xy cubed z, we have 3 times x times y times y times y times z. Next, divide the common factors that are present in both numerator and denominator. In this case, we have x, y, another y, 2, x, another x, and y. We cancel them out, or we simply divide them. Lastly, multiply the remaining factors. So we have, for the numerator, that would be equal to x. And for the denominator, we have 2 times 3, times y, times z. That would be equal to 6yz. So the quotient of xy squared over 4x squared y divided by 3xy cubed z over 2x cubed y that would be equal to x over 6yz now let us try this example number 2 x squared minus 4 all over x minus 2 divided by x squared plus 4x plus 4 all over x plus 2 step 1 we need to find the reciprocal of the divisor our divisor is 
x squared plus 4x plus all over x plus 2. So its reciprocal is x plus 2 all over x squared plus 4x plus 4. Step 2. Proceed to the multiplication. In multiplication, we need to factor out both numerator and the denominator. Let us factor out first the first expression. x squared minus 4 all over x minus 2. For the numerator, as you can observe, that we can use factoring with difference of two squares. So we have, for the numerator, the quantity of x minus 2 quantity times the quantity of x plus 2 quantity. And for the denominator we have x minus 2. Now, we need to find the factors of the other expression. x plus 2 all over x squared plus 4x plus 4. For the numerator, we have x plus 2. As you can observe in the denominator, it is a perfect square trinomial. So we will be using factoring with perfect square trinomial. So we have the quantity of x plus 2 quantity times the quantity of x plus 2 quantity since we are done in step 1, which we factored out both numerator and the denominator. Next, divide the common factors that are present in both numerator and denominator. In this case, we have x minus 2, x plus 2, and another x plus 2. The last step, Multiply the remaining factors. Since we divide it all to itself, we will be using division by itself property, which states that if we divide a number or an expression by the number or an expression itself, the quotient is 1. So the quotient of x squared minus 4 all over x minus 2 divided by x squared plus 4x plus 4 all over x plus 2 that would be equal to 1 now let us try the last example this example number 3 x squared minus 9 all over x cubed minus 1 divided by x squared minus 5x plus 6 all over x squared plus x plus 1 step 1 find the reciprocal of the divisor we need to find the reciprocal of the divisor our divisor is x squared minus 5x plus 6 all over x squared plus x plus 1 so its reciprocal is x squared plus x plus 1 all over x squared plus 4x plus 4 step 2 proceed to the multiplication next would be factor out both numerator and the denominator let us factor out first the first expression x squared minus 9 all over x cubed minus 1 for the numerator as you can observe that we can use factoring with difference of two squares so we have the quantity of x minus 3 quantity times the quantity of x plus 3 quantity and for the denominator we can use factoring with difference of two cubes so we have the quantity of x minus 1 quantity times the quantity of x squared plus x plus 1 quantity next we need to find the factors of the other expression x squared plus x plus 1 all over 
x squared minus 5x plus 6. For the numerator, it is a trinomial, but in this case, it is not factorable. Meaning, we cannot factor out with the real numbers. Note. For higher mathematics, we can factor out this expression. But for now, we will stick to not factorable. So for the numerator, we have x squared plus x plus 1. And for the denominator, as you can observe, it is a quadratic trinomial. So we will be using factoring with quadratic trinomial. You can use any method you want in finding its factors. So we have the factors of the denominator are the quantity of x minus 2 quantity times the quantity of x minus 3 quantity. Next, divide the common factors that are present in both numerator and denominator. In this case, we have x minus 3 and x squared plus x plus 1. The last step, multiply the remaining factors. In the numerator, we have x plus 3. And for the denominator, we will be using FOIL method to solve for the product. So that would be x squared minus 3x minus 2. So therefore, the quotient of x squared minus 9 all over x cubed minus 1 divided by x squared minus 5x plus 6 all over x squared plus x plus 1 that would be equal to x plus 3 all over x squared minus 3x minus 2 that's it we are done in dividing rational algebraic expression. I will leave a three item exercises for you to practice what we've learned. See you in my next video.